Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at things teachers have done for them. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Third grade, Miss Jones. My dad had just deserted us and we were suddenly destitute. She bought my school pictures for us and paid my lunch bill all year. She never said a word about it, only found out later. Bless her. Oh. Yes, teachers need to be like this. Senior year, I was placed in a freshman typing class. Everyone else was chatty and goofed off, but I wanted to learn to type. So I really put in a lot of effort. I only had two classes in the morning and the rest of the day I was a waitress as I was pretty much on my own in my senior year. I got called into work on the day of our class final. So I went to work and missed the final. When I showed up to class the next day, I apologized to the teacher for missing the final. He asked me, do you want to know the grade you got? When I replied, yes, he said, I gave you an A because if you had been here, that's what you would have gotten. I never forgot that. What? Wow, that's the first time I've heard of a teacher grading like that. <laughs> wow, the person didn't even take the test and they got an A. Oh yeah, actually, this is a thing too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if you're away for something and as long as you have a good excuse, they take into account your recent grades or the grades that you got before and then they take an average of that and then they give it to you because that's what you would have gotten if you were there kind of thing. So yeah, 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 actually, never mind. I'll take that back, yeah, this is the thing. I faked my way through fourth and fifth grade math. I never understood how to do long division, but managed to hide that from the teachers and answer test questions by reverse multiplication. Basically guess a number and multiply it out and see how close I would get and keep doing it until I got the answer. My sixth grade math teacher figured out that I was faking and had no idea how to actually divide anything. <laughs> Long division is hard. She had me come in one afternoon to help me with cleaning the erasers. All the kids fought for this privilege, so I was thrilled. Sat me down and tutored me until I grasped the concept. So nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love how she did that in private so she didn't embarrass them in front of the whole class, you know. Oh my gosh, these teachers are so nice. Finally, I'm reading about good teachers. Oh my gosh, I've always been reading about teachers who are like, bad and just mean oh finally i knew they existed at my high school we had an annual week long science trip fully paid for by fundraising only four people were selected to go each year my sophomore year i was chosen i knew there was no way i was going to be allowed to go i had never been out of state never been on a single vacation never been on the plane and never been away from home for more than 24 hours my parents were incredibly conservative and immediately said no. I had a science teacher who just didn't accept the no. Instead of just giving up and selecting someone else, he called and tried to convince my parents. When that didn't work, he came to my house and had dinner with my family to convince my dad that I would be an asset and he would be doing me a disservice by not letting me go. He sat and ate my mom's terrible cooking and talked to my parents for over two hours until he got there would think about it. Then he just kept following up. <laughs> I never had someone in my corner like that before. He was willing to go to bat for me like that. He wore them down and it was the best week of my teenage life. I'd never seen the ocean 20 years later and I can still recall every detail of that trip. It was a major pivot point for me. Oh, the teacher is so nice. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe the parents would actually be like, no. Really? I guess it's because they're overprotective and they're scared something might happen to him. But come on, it's like once in a lifetime experience when they're young kind of thing, you know? Oh, great teacher. Had a high school art teacher who would let me stay in his classroom during lunches. Always gave me half a sandwich and other extra food because he knew I didn't eat much otherwise. These are so wholesome, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I caught somebody stupid once when they got a question wrong and the teacher instantly made me stand up and spell stupid backwards. Got it wrong with the pressure and learned a lesson that day. <laughs> spell stupid backwards. S. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Great lesson, you know? Don't call someone stupid just because they get an answer wrong, you know? We all learn, okay? We all have to start from the beginning and learn from there. 
teeth. I can't remember what I did, but in first grade, my teacher got mad at me and said, you want to act like a baby? Fine, come over here. She made me sit in a corner on the floor and gave me two little toys to play with. Wait, first grade? That's kind of nice though. <laughs> I don't think I would have minded that. I would be like, really? Thank you. Yes. Called my mum while she was at work to tell her I'd written one of the best things he'd ever seen as a teacher. Oh. Wow, that's a next level compliment. You know, your teacher calling your mum to tell her that? Be like, you should be so proud of your kid. He is so talented. I'm so happy to have read this today. <laughs> You know what's crazy though? I feel like compliments from your teachers, you would remember it forever. Like I still remember most of the compliments my teacher gave me. And maybe it's because I was the quiet kid and I would feel like no one really notices me. But like once a teacher notices me and like they give me compliments, I would be so happy. And I still remember most of them to this day. My physics teacher in high school hosted an annual trip to Walt Disney World in Orlando for 15 to 20 kids for over a week. I was one of the better and most interested students in his class. He was an incredible teacher who found examples in physics everywhere. He also used to work for Disney prior to teaching. Since my family was not so well off and I could not afford the trip to Walt Disney World, I declined when he asked me if I was going to join. He probed a bit and he somehow found the funds to have me join without me even inquiring. I don't know if he pulled school money or there was a surplus, but either way, that was one of my best memories from that school. I still keep in touch with him 15 years later. He somehow found the funds. That was because he paid for it himself. I feel like, yeah. When people say that, you know, they're like, oh, actually, I, I, I found the money here. <laughs> Like, it's most likely they paid it for themselves, you know, and they don't want you to feel bad about it, basically. She took every phone call, no matter the time of night, while I was in rehab. If it wasn't for her being there in my lowest time, I probably would not be here today. I love it when teachers are there for students, you know. I love how they take their own time out for their students. Oh. This teacher was extremely strict, hated by my class but loved me because I was one of the few who respected her and did well in her class. When school ended, she gave me a crystal bear. Nothing too fancy or expensive, but I felt as if I was glowing leaving that classroom with the bear in my hand. I still have it and will treasure it forever. <laughs> you know, I feel like strict teachers aren't that bad. You know, they're actually pretty nice people. <laughs> when you get to know them as a person, right? But they're just strict because they want the class to do well. Grade three, I said, oh crap, when I got tagged out rounding second during a game of soccer baseball. A little girl covering the base screamed, teacher, they said the C word. So I got put on detention and yelled at for the rest of the day until I finally snapped on my teacher at the end of the day and said, listen, teacher, I didn't get it. All I said was, oh crap, when she caught the ball and I didn't even know that was a swear word. The teacher replied, Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you said the other C word. I said, what is the other C word? She said, ask your mother. What the heck is with the little girl though? Oh my gosh, I hate people who dub on people just for like little things. Like, come on. What? Did your ears get what? 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 Are your ears corrupted now or something? You know? <laughs> my band teacher drove me home several times after the 7 p.m. jazz band practice. My dad was supposed to pick me up, but several times he fell asleep and didn't answer the phone when I tried to call. Wow, that's so irresponsible, man. Thank gosh for this responsible teacher. He knew my home life wasn't the best. He saw a bright kid, but someone who struggled with just, you know, following orders. He wrote home as I was failing and spoke more kindly about me than most had ever done. It was very nice. Oh my gosh, I love when teachers are like this. I just hate teachers who... When they look at students, they're just like, okay, you're going to fail. You're not going to go anywhere in life. There are teachers like that. You know, they look at a student and be like, you're a failure in life. Yeah, I hate those teachers. I broke up with my boyfriend the night before my final. And as I was walking to class to take it, my teacher seeing me told me that I could take it the following day with his afternoon class without me even saying a word. He was a really great teacher. <laughs> How did he know though? Called my handwriting a chicken poop. I was never the same again. <laughs> I thought these were good teachers. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. 
Oh my gosh. I've never I've never heard of a teacher like complaining about a kid's handwriting, you know? That's so funny. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.